Hey guys, so I know I'm wearing the same outfit that I was in in my last video, which was the haul, but that's because I'm doing two videos in one night because something just happened and I decided to sit down and make my story time Sunday a couple days early just because I feel like this is a perfect subject for a story time Sunday because I feel like there's something you can learn from it because there's some bullshit that just happened that I'm just up here level heated about. Also, excuse my chuflao, it's not really the cutest right now. I've always called buns chuflaos. I don't know why. I don't know why I call it that. My grandma used to call them chuflaos. So I call my buns chuflaos. So excuse my chuflao. It's not the best, but it's floppy and it's being cute right now. So chuflao dance, chuflao dance. I was just on Facebook. I was exporting the footage from my camera onto my laptop so I can edit it and get it up to you guys tonight. But, um, I'm still gonna do that, but regardless, I was on Facebook just going through everyone's bullshit, everyone's drama, all that kind of shit, pregnancy announcements, baby pictures, all that kind of shit. You know, Facebook now, for us 20-somethings, it's like babies, marriages, traveling. I was going through my news feed and noticed this very long paragraph accompanied by a picture with a girl looking like this. I didn't think anything of it until I scrolled down and saw the comments. Now, I'm a nosy bitch, let's be honest. I'm very nosy. Whenever I see something with a lot of comments and a lot of very mad comments, I want to know what it's about because <laughs> I'm all about that chisme. I love having chisme. I like to be the person who knows about the drama but has no part in it. But this time, I was not the lucky because the second I saw that article, a notification popped up saying that I was tagged in the same thing that I was reading at that moment. I didn't even notice it until I was tagged into it. So that's when I was like, okay, what's this about? This guy has been irrelevant in my life for the longest fucking time. The last time he was relevant in my life was in middle school, and that's where the whole thing started. This is this is what this entire thing is all about. So this guy, his nickname was Bobo in middle school, and he had a crush on quite a few girls in school. One of them was me. He asked me out one day when I was in seventh grade, I think, and I had to say no because I was literally deathly afraid of going home and telling my grandmother that I had a boyfriend. I grew up with my grandmother, like I lived with in her house for a good two, three years when I was in middle school. I was terrified to go home and say, Abuela, yo tengo novio. She would have beat my ass with a palm frond stat. I vividly remember exactly what I was thinking the moment he asked me to go to the movies. And this is how long ago this was, just to put things into perspective. He asked me out that day to go see the movie Constantine when I first came out in the movie theaters that night. That's how fucking long ago this bitch is tripping about. But I can vividly remember what I was thinking. I was terrified of just going home and telling my grandma that I had a boyfriend or that I had to go on a date because this guy asked me out and her going to the damn backyard getting a damn palm frond. My grandma did not beat my ass with no normal shit. She had the belt, yes. She had her favorite chancla, yes. She had her favorite spoon, yes. But when all else failed and the fear of all those things was no longer a threat to us, she went out and found extreme things in the backyard. This lady would literally have a collection of palm trees that she would love to pull palm fronds from just to beat our asses with it because they were strong enough. Palm fronds, if you do not know what those fucking things are, palm fronds are the stems of the palm trees that the actual like palms come out of. These stems are like weird, like the triangle shaped kind of. They're hard as fuck and they're sharp as fuck. So when you get your ass beat with them, you feel like someone is lighting a fire on your ass. If I had gone home and said the shit that I was gonna say to her, if I did really want to go to this date, I guarantee you my grandmother would have gotten that palm frond. She would have picked her favorite one, the strongest, the sturdiest one, got it out, and beat my ass until the second coming of Jesus himself because that's exactly how she was. And you know what? I was not about to risk that because I didn't want my ass cheeks to be red for the next year and a half. So... No thanks, I said no. What really makes me upset was that I actually genuinely did want to go out with him because I was not somebody who liked to turn people down. I hated feeling like I just let somebody down like that. And because I always hated how people picked on him for being so poor. So I, the way I saw things was that the fact that he was asking me to go on a date, he was going to pay for everything and everything, it was a big deal for him. It was probably like a really big deal because he was not the, you know, richest person. He was not really well-to-do. His family wasn't well-to-do. They called him Bobo because he used to draw. He used to get shoes from, like, 
the swap shop or maybe the dollar store or whatever and he would draw like nike signs on them just to act like he had cool shoes that's what people called him bobo and i felt so bad that i said no to him and i don't want i didn't want him to think that it was because i didn't like him i did have feelings for him like i did feel bad for him when i said no i made sure to explain to him as to why i said no i did tell him listen i'm not allowed to date i would love to go on a date with you no, nothing. I would love nothing more than that, but I'm not allowed to date anybody, and I'm afraid to go home and tell my parents, listen, I have a date, and this is where I'm supposed to go, because they'd beat my ass. I told them the truth. I told them straight up the truth. I don't know if you believe me. Actually, I know you didn't believe me, because come Valentine's Day, this dude bought bo a bouquet of flowers, this really pretty bouquet of flowers. He gave it to me, and I had it in my hand, and he yanked it out of my hand, ripped the actual flowers apart from the stems, and threw it in my face, and threw them on the floor, and walked away. Clearly, he was butt hurt. So that's the backstory to this. After I rejected him and said no to him, um, he did ask a couple of my girlfriends out, whatever, and they went out for like a couple of weeks or a couple of days. It never lasted any like longer than a couple of days. So I was happy for him. I thought he was over it. I didn't stay. I didn't talk to him that much after that flower incident because I just I didn't want to deal with his bullshit. Because fuck you, if you want to be an asshole, that's your fucking deal. So fast forward to now on Facebook. So I go on Facebook to this long ass post. And I don't bother reading it until, like I said, I see the comments and I'm like, ooh, cheese me. So I go ahead and read it and all this shit. In this post, it starts out very, very sweet. Turns out the girl in the picture is his girlfriend. It turns out if the first part of this post is super, super cute. I have a new girlfriend. I'm so happy to be blessed with her in my life. She's so amazing, blah, blah, blah. Then we get to the middle part of this damn post, and all the fuckery just starts happening. And out of nowhere, things go from 0 to 100 real fucking quick. This bitch starts saying, and to all you bitches in middle school and high school who rejected my ass because you said I was too ugly or I was too poor, and you had better standards than what I had for you guys, fuck you, you guys are all fucking ugly ducklings, you ugly fucking hoes and bitches. Like, just unleashes every fucking like foul name in the English language for a female for anybody for that matter in this one post and tags all of us who he had asked out or gone out with in this bitch now I gotta give him like I've gotta give him props I gotta give him credit because I don't know anybody anywhere who would have the cojones to fucking do that kind of shit. I really can't think of anybody who would have the balls to do what he fucking did. But at the same time, I don't think anybody is ever that hurt to the point where they would remember shit like that and hold a grudge against all of us girls for this long. We're talking 10 plus years ago and you're still butt hurt about us saying no. What gives you the fucking right to come out here and fucking tag me in some bullshit ass post telling me I'm a fucking bitch, I'm an ugly fucking duckling, that I'm a fucking hoe just because I said no to you. And I had a legitimate reason. Like, I, it wasn't a reason that I just pulled out of my asshole one day. I could have given you a fake number and made you feel like shit that even more, but I didn't do that. I was fucking upfront with you and told you exactly why. And here I am now being tagged in a post, called me a bitch and an ugly duckling because I said no to you? Bitch, fuck you! Now I'm getting heated because I just, just, just going through that post in my head and the fact that he tagged all of us girls who are all actually currently still friends in this bullshit ass post comparing us to your girlfriend. Listen, I'm happy for him. And the reason I'm, I'm making this video is because it's a lesson that you guys can learn from, maybe. If you've ever been rejected, get over it. I understand sometimes it's hard. I understand sometimes it fucking sucks. I've been rejected so many fucking times. I can't count on my hands how many times I've been rejected by somebody. And it fucking hurt. But I didn't hold a grudge. As a matter of fact, some people who have actually been interested in, who have rejected me, are still now, me and them are still friends. Like, we're cool as fuck right now. So... I don't hold grudges to anybody for saying no to me. I'm not your type and I, I respect you enough that you would tell me no instead of dragging my ass through a busted ass relationship and lying to me and pretending that you like me and you really don't. I would never want to be the reason why someone's unhappy. That's the reason why I'm upfront with everybody. I tell you how I feel about you from the jump. If I don't fucking like you, I don't waste my time with you. If I like you, I'm going to tell you, listen, I want to hang out more, I want to do this, I want to do that. I don't waste my time. I don't bullshit with anybody because it's a waste of my time and your time. I don't want there to be any mixed feelings about how I feel about you or likewise. I don't waste anyone's time. I feel really bad for your girlfriend because she was just compared to a bunch of your exes and girls who you had feelings for in the past. 
Like, you wasted a perfectly cute, what could have been a perfectly cute post about your new girlfriend on some bullshit that doesn't even matter, that hasn't mattered for 10 plus years. You haven't crossed my mind until I see you on Facebook every now and then. That's about it. That's, that's as much as you've crossed my mind, and yet here you are still holding grudges for something that happened in middle school before your little ass balls fucking dropped, before you got a big ass bass for a fucking voice. I don't fucking think so. I honestly am laughing right now because I feel so bad for his girlfriend. Because if I were her, I would be so upset and feel so disrespected by him. The fact that he would literally wait and take his time to tag all of his exes and all of his, you know, girls who rejected him in one post and compare me to all of them. She was happy as fuck that he compared her to being like this amazing, like magical person. You know what, she probably is prettier than me, that's fine, I don't give a fuck, but you know what? I don't need to feel like, you know, I'm prettier than somebody else to make me feel good about myself. That's awful. I would never put somebody else down in order to make me feel good about myself. That just makes you look like you feel bad about yourself anyway. So you look at somebody who is like less fortunate than you to make you feel good about yourself, that's fucked up. Listen, and you know what, if you wanna call me an ugly duckling, um, bitch, where do you see an ugly fucking duckling? Okay, let's be honest, you fucking liked me and you were butthurt about it enough to talk about it 10 plus years later, after it fucking happened, I wasn't so ugly back then. You like all my pictures I post on my fucking Facebook, all my selfies and shit, your girl doesn't see that shit, does she? And lastly, to end this video off on a good note, I just want to say I do feel happy that he's in a relationship. I'm glad that he's with her, and I hope she makes him so, so, so super happy, and vice versa. Personally, I really do hope that she leaves his ass and realizes she can do much better for a partner, but you know what? If that's who they're meant to be with, that's who they're meant to be with, and I have no fucking qualms about it, because you know what? I have who I'm supposed to be with, and I'm fucking happy. And lastly, on behalf of all the girls who you tagged in that post calling us all bitches and hoes and ugly fucking ducklings, I have only one thing for you to enjoy. And yes, I did take that from Kristen Bell's meme, or her gif, whatever that was. It was fucking adorable, and it fucking matched the situation. So, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video.